What's going on YouTube? My name is Ricky and today I've got a video to showcase a couple of tips and tricks to counter Bubba. First things first, let's talk about looping and pallets. Leatherface has one power and that's to rev up his chainsaw and swing left and right as he takes down survivors with one single hit. You can use that power to your advantage when you are looping him. Bubba will try to do one of two things, to hit you with his power or to wait for you to drop the pallet so that he can destroy the pallet with a single hit. Do not drop the pallet unless you think he's actually gonna hit you. Because when Leatherface is using his chainsaw, it's really hard to control. And if he hits a wall, he goes into a tantrum. Follow this tip and you'll be surprised how much longer you can last looping a Bubba than before. Okay, let's talk about windows, stunts, and corners. When Bubba is using a chainsaw and you vault a window, you can gain a lot of space. You have to make sure you time it properly so that he doesn't hit you as you're vaulting the window. But if you do it right, you can either run away or just watch him go on his tantrum. Pallet stunts can be very useful, but you have to time them properly. If you plan to pallet stunt Bubba, you gotta do it before he revs up. If you do it too early, it'll be a waste of a pallet. But if you do it too late, you're going down. And I cannot stress this enough guys, stay close to the walls. When playing against Bubba, those sharp turns are your best friends. Okay, okay, let's talk about something more unorthodox. Lockers. This should be more of a last resort kind of thing because most likely you're going down. But if you time it properly, you can get into the locker before he hits you and get out as soon as he's done with his power and run away. Okay, let's talk about head on. Jane Romero's perk and probably my favorite perk to use against Bubba's. The way the perk works is you stand in a locker for three seconds, head on activates, and when you perform a rush action to get out of the locker, you stunt the killer. Wait for Bubba to rev up his chainsaw. Get into a locker, count to three, wait for head on to activate, and BAM! Stunt the fucker in the face. In all seriousness guys, if you practice this tip enough, you can get really good at it. And you can be the designated chased survivor when you play against Bubba. This is probably by far my favorite thing to do against Bubba's, especially when they're toxic. If you guys watch this and you try this out in a match, let me know in the comments down below if it works for you. I really want to know if uh, this is a, a good tip or a bad one. So far it's been working out great for me, but like I said, I want to know your guys' opinion. The great thing about this tip is that it works not only for yourself, but you can use it to save your friends as well. Now for the tip you've all been waiting for, the tip that everybody asks about. How do you counter a camping Bubba? This is what makes Bubba the most hated killer in all of DBD. If you've made it this far into the video, comment down below right now what your way is of defeating a camping Bubba, of countering a camping Bubba. What do you do? Do you try to lure him out? Do you try to use borrow time? Do you hide as far away as possible from him and just wait until the end of the match and try and get a hatch escape? Well, if your answer is that you give up all hope on this game and you say fuck Bubba, then you're right. Camping Bubbas are basically adults who got dropped as babies and were not loved by their parents. They had a horrible childhood and they gotta take it out in the world because they can't figure out their lives. You know what? It's not my fault. It's not our fault that you suck at this game. God! Go play Call of Duty. <laughs> 